And we turn our attention to a crime that actually costs businesses tens of thousands of dollars. Stores in and around Westport report they've been experiencing multiple burglaries recently. KSHB 41 reporter Alyssa Jackson learns how it's affecting these businesses. Being an entrepreneur usually comes with its own share of headaches. Oftentimes they deal with problems they didn't sign up for. Every time when this burglary has happened, we lose about five to ten thousand uh, dollars. The minor things they're picking up and grab and run, you lose two to three hundred to five hundred dollars a day. I mean, we really want this to be stopped because it's really hurting our business. This is just one of many instances where someone broke in and stole from Midtown Market near Westport. An employee who wasn't comfortable revealing his identity to KSHB 41 said their pockets can only take so much. We really don't have money. We can't afford ourselves to pay the utility bills and all the rent and everything. So it really affecting us. They've had to choose between keeping the lights on or repairing the broken windows. The market can't even stay fully stocked out of the fear they'll lose it anyway. We just go on by daily, by day by day to see if there is any hope or any help. Uh, if not, eventually we have to close it down. More money out than coming in. And less than half a mile from here, DVA percent in Westport has many of the same frustrations. So actually one of the last times he broke in, we actually caught him breaking in because the owner was, he can't sleep at night because he's always watching cameras. DVA Percent's manager says they've had every single window broken at some point. It seems to be every six days, so that's one of those things where I'm just kind of, kind of hoping that something doesn't happen when I wake up. Always waiting for that phone call. The store says they aren't at risk of moving or shutting down, but like Midtown Market, they want the suspects off the streets. It's one of those things where we've done everything we, that we can, but for some reason, he just doesn't stay in jail. If somehow, you know, the, the prosecutor or the police or the judge, whoever, they can keep hold him for a long time so they cannot get out and do this kind of damage to our community, that would really help us a lot. In Kansas City, Alyssa Jackson, KSHB 41 News.